And welcome to episode two of Laura's Gaming Butts, that podcast that Patreon made me do that I now talk about butts for a living. Hooray, butts. Um, I'm here with Jim Sterling this week. Hello. Patreon didn't make me come here, but I heard that there was a podcast about butts and instantly signed myself up. Exactly. I had this moment of, hmm, who can I make talk about butts? And then it was like, okay, well, there's only one logical choice to get on a butt podcast, and that's probably Jim, so... Yeah, there's absolutely no coercion necessary. It's just, hello, I'm doing a podcast about video game butt, and then I stop you right there and say <laughs> I'm in. Well, exactly. And, you know, the far less coercion going on with you. With, with me, I had to be like, no, give me all this money, because otherwise I won't talk about butts. I, I, oh, yeah, I'd, I'd have paid to come on. <laughs> well, if only I'd known. Anyway, do you, do you want to tell everyone what butts we're talking about this week? Yes, yes, uh, I would be delighted to. Uh, we are going to be talking about the butts of the Mario universe. Um, you know, everything from from Mario to Toads. We're going to run the full gamut here. Uh, uh, it's a very important subject, I think. Exactly, equality in butt critique. We've got to critique every butt. Just, like, you know, no, no segregating butts based on gender or species. You know, we've got to critique all of the butts. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you want to talk about diversity, you want to talk about about um, um, in- inclusivity, uh, then look no further uh, than the posteriors of Mario. Well, where, where do we want to start? Do you have a particular favourite butt you'd like to start with? Well, I, everybody's got their favourites, Laura. Everybody's <laughs> got their favourites. Uh, but I really do feel, like, even though it's not my personal favourite, I feel we would be remiss to not start at the top. Uh, so I think we really should focus on, on uh, Mario himself and, and have a look at his uh, his shapely Boston posterior. Indeed. And in order to start uh, trying to find nice references for this, I found that like if you're talking about butts in the Mario series, by far the greatest reference you can have is the new Wii U, uh, the new Wii U edition of Super Smash Brothers, because with that pausing camera, you can you can get really good butt shots. Oh, absolutely. Uh, in fact, I would be willing to argue that that is the primary use for the moving camera in Super Smash Brothers is to look at, at Mario's butt specifically. Uh, you know, some people might think they, they'd use it to look at Wii Fit Trainer or, or Zero Suit Samus, but, but the kind of people that would do that are unimaginative, uh, uh, just going for the, the low-hanging fruit, when most of us are going for the ripest plums and uh, 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 rotating round to get a gorgeous look at... Uh, uh, at the plumber's buns. Indeed. Um, one of the problems I have with Mario's bum as like a discussion topic is that because he wears dungarees, it's very difficult to get a good like idea of what the bum under those dungarees is like. You know, with his his very heavy denim, it's it's a little difficult to tell sometimes what that bum's like. But my- absolutely, he makes you work for it. That's the thing. Um, that I'm I'm looking at an image right now. I'm, I'm obviously I've got, I've got Google Image Search up, and I'm. I'm researching extensively as we speak and there is one official image of mario jumping where he's looking over his shoulder he's got the coy kind of kind of um um, um, let's say a a deer that doesn't want you to chase it but (laughs) does it kind of look in his eyes as he's tipping his hat and and you get a real shapely curve of the ass uh, as he lifts one leg uh, up and one down Uh, it, it you have to use your imagination uh, because, as you say, it's got very heavy denim. Uh, but the rewards are there. Uh, the rewards are all there. This is the thing, is people think of Mario and they assume that he's a slightly overweight plumber, but you look at the sort of athletics that he's required to do in the Mario games. He he does, like, cartwheels and backflips and double jumps, and you can't do that if you if you're not toned up. I imagine that toning, you know, in my imagination, his butt's got to be pretty toned in order to make those jumps. Oh, absolutely. I had a, uh, a physical education teacher in school who was, uh, I mean, he, he was as wide as I am, uh, but, but he was a physical education teacher. I mean, that man was a rugby player. He was built like a, you know, built like, like Mario, I guess, because he, he had that, that physical um, uh, power behind him. You could tell he was a fit man, even though he, he had a rotund proportion. Uh, uh, you know, you, you could grate cheese off of his uh, abs underneath, the, obviously, the stomach padding, um, I imagine. Uh, and, and he, too, you know, had had a 
the kind of ass I would consider to be large, absolutely. Luscious, I'm not arguing with you, but clearly um, uh, solid, uh, with, with just enough malleable give uh, to reward the, the, uh, the determined squeezer. I would always rather err on the side of too much ass rather than too little. Like, you know, you don't want to have mm-hmm. nothing there. I don't think you're going to run that risk with Mario. He's got, he's going to have a nice handful of ass somewhere there. Absolutely. The people have spoken. Kim Kardashian is on magazine covers. Uh, people want uh, the, the, the large uh, uh, glute, really. Uh, and Mario, I feel, has been encapsulating that for years. And, and only now are we really understanding that, that bigger can be better. Uh, and, and I'm fully behind it. Exactly. Someone recently asked me why Mario has been such an endearing mascot and, so, say, Sonic hasn't been. I think it's all about the butt. Mario's Absolutely. got Mario's got a decent butt. Sonic just doesn't. And that's what you need for a mascot. A mascot is not going to survive without a decent butt. Not at all. Uh, uh, I, I would actually put down... I, I, I'm not a statistician, but I want to say 95% of Sonic's problems over the past six years uh, uh, stem entirely from his lack of an arse. Uh, whereas Mario uh, uh, has the shapely arse, he has the, the, the big butt, which we all like and cannot lie. And as a result, is still one of the most enduring and lovable mascots in, in the video game world. Exactly. Well, while we're talking about like the pair of brothers, it's probably a good place to start. I want to talk a little bit about Luigi's butt. And again, going back to Smash Brothers as my reference, it's very easy to get good shots of Luigi's butt because he attacks with his butt. Like one of his combos you can do with his like sort of A button combo involves his smacking his butt into people. And he's got a lot of uh, hip swinging ability to move his ass about. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, he's inherited the Mario brother sort of genetic stock there uh, uh, clearly not as large as Mario but but I, I imagine his his ass is nowhere uh, uh, not far in terms of firmness uh, clearly the man knows what he's doing with it uh, he's well practiced in the use of his ass and it uh, clearly packs a punch uh, that is a man who not only was gifted naturally uh, with a firmly toned rump, uh, but but he has clearly been practicing honing it, evolving it, and polishing it uh, into a, a, a highly evolved killing machine. Well, it's that kind of retro, uh, the, the kind of discussions people often have about the penis. It's like it's not the size; it's what you do with it. And I think that's perfectly encapsulated with Luigi. It's not about the size of his ass compared to Mario. I think he can do more with his. I think yes, his is a more he, versatile butt. He wields it with a lot more skill. Um, you know, again, I'm not saying Mario is is, is amateur hour by any means. Uh, uh, as I say, there is a natural genetic heritage there, clearly. The, the, this is a long line of plumbers who are uh, uh, gifted with, with almost pre- uh, hyper-natural uh, uh, enhancements to their uh, uh, backstairs um, um, assets. And Luigi... It has just put in the extra effort, possibly because he was the younger son, had to prove himself. He wasn't an heir to the Mario fortune. Uh, uh, so very much like how, how the younger prince in a royal family will join the army uh, while the other prince is groomed to be king, uh, Luigi has, has, has uh, uh, worked his ass out a lot. Well, exactly. And maybe one day we will be lucky enough to see the two of them face off and we can find out which... Which is truly the better ass? Is it the the sheer brute force or the 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 dexterity? We, I don't know. Maybe we'll know. Maybe Mario and Nintendo will give us like Mario butt fights one day. But until well, then, we're just going to yeah. have to dream. People go to E three every year and don't ask them the tough questions. Uh, you know, I want to know who whose butt will win in a butt fight: Luigi's butt or Mario's butt. Okay. Uh, no one asks Reggie or Shigeru any of those questions. Okay, well, here's here's a promise to everyone listening to this: go to patreon.com forward slash Laura K Buzz and support me on Patreon. If I get enough money that I can get to E3 next year, I will ask a Nintendo representative about butts in Mario. So, there's your promise. Support me on Patreon. Woo. I think that's all people ask. Exactly. There are self promotion. That's how I do my thing. That's how I pay the bills. Anyway, um, other butts to talk about in Mario. Um, I was going to move on to Peach's butt next, but there's a bit of a problem here, and it's the floaty dress, which poses a bit of a problem where it's very difficult to tell 
how much of the the sort of curvature of her dress is is her butt and how much is not yeah i mean first of all uh, i like to imagine that her name i don't think that's her birth name i think it's a boast uh, so first of all that that you know that that gives us a clue but we can actually get a workaround for this because uh, rather than look at, at the uh, the princess peach you see in the main mario games we want to look at mario baseball uh, and the oh. mario basketball games where she's wearing um sporting shorts See, uh, now now I get exactly why I brought you on. You're thinking outside of the box here. I would never have thought of other places to find that butt. See, oh. that, I'm a thinker. Uh, I, I've, re- I've researched this topic heavily. Uh, when you asked me what um, um, subject I'd like to tackle, I did say the butts of the Mario universe, and that's because I feel uh, that I could write a thesis on this. I've, I've researched this for many, many years. I'm, I'm going for my doctorate. Um, but yeah, that's the... The place we want to look. Uh, she wears short shorts in the basketball game and the um, the baseball game. Uh, she has a short dress in the tennis one, uh, and and um, I think just the tennis one. Uh, so there's definitely instances where we can get a, a, a glimpse. There's one particular shot I'm looking at here on Google Image Search um, from the baseball game where Is this she. This the one where it's Mario and Luigi are holding all the equipment, and she's just sort of turned with her butt, just just facing us. Or is this a different um, one that you found? The one I'm looking at is uh, she's holding a baseball bat as if ready to, to swing. Oh, yes. And she's found, kind of got yeah. a swinging profile. I see. Yeah. I'll, put, I'll put this up on screen so everyone can have a look. But it's it's not the largest. I will I will say that. It's, it's very sort of small and understated, the butt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is... Uh, you know, one of the, the joys of being someone who can appreciate uh, pretty much any body type under the sun is I can appreciate uh, uh, the, the meatier frame and the more slender frame. And Peach is, is a fine example, I think, of the, the, of the latter. Um, it is not a, a huge uh, ass by any means, uh, but it is, I, I like to imagine, I, I like to, to, to suggest, uh, very well formed. Well, exactly. It works very well with the contours of the rest of her body, that it's all just sort of very nicely slopes into each other. It's, you know, it's not just like, here's the slopes of the body and then here's this ass protruding out. It's, you know, it just gently curves and it's very natural to have it there. Absolutely. Um, and if, if we look at um, uh, some of her alternate uh, ways of dressing in Mario Kart, for example, um, you put her on the bike with the, the, the skin tight uh, leather suit that she has. I mean, she fills that out perfectly adequately. Uh, I like I, I would suggest that, that rather than suggest she has a, a, a small ass in any way, uh, it is exactly the size it needs to be for the job it needs to do. Well, exactly. Like, functionally, I don't think she's going to be one of those people that sits down. It's like, my butt hurts when I sit down because, it, you know, there's just no meat on it. It's it's there. It's, you know, it's perfect for what it needs to be. There is nothing wasted. It's just sort of just enough to be to be right, I think. It, yeah, it's it's... Uh, uh, the butt equivalent of a shark. Uh, it is. It's been around for a while. Uh, it hasn't had to change because it's perfectly suited to the environment and the job. Uh, uh, it, it's. It became honed uh, a long time ago, before any of us were born, and it's going to be around for even longer because it. It knows exactly what it has to do to survive, uh, and, and and that's it. It's a it's a perfectly honed, perfectly shaped predator of, of the ocean. Exactly. Like I'm looking at one image now, which I'll put up, which is uh, it's one of these ones from Mario Kart Eight, where she sort of stood up on the motorbike and she's sort of got her backside um, just sort of tilted out a little bit, and it is just perfectly like just what it needs to be. It is tuned to perfection, I think, which is yes, which is good. So what? Who else have we got? Uh, I'm thinking maybe now's a good time to start talking about some of the less uh, some of the less human characters for a little while. We've been we've been a little bit speciesist and only talking about the uh, the humans. So oh, sure. let's talk about Yoshi's butt. Well, Yoshi's butt is interesting uh, because it, it features heavily in all of his games. Um, you know, imagining again. You know, I, I have to use my imagination a little bit here, uh, but uh, Yoshi seems typically styled as uh, male. Uh, so I can only assume there's one place the eggs are coming from. I, I would have to assume so. And that, that requires some real control 
I imagine to just to just let one egg out and not and not more than that. That's that's a very well controlled butt. He knows oh, what he's doing yeah. with it. Yoshi Yoshi is a dinosaur that's practiced its keggles. <laughs> uh, you know, let, let's let's put that out there right now. And he's clearly proud of it because you just you just have to type Yoshi in Google Image Search, and you're well, inundated he... with him showing his stuff. Well, that's the thing is we talk about all of those those slightly uh, more. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? These human characters that are a bit more ashamed of their body, that have got like the heavy denim on, so you can't quite see it. But Yoshi just puts it out there. He's like, no, I, I am not ashamed. Have a look. Here's my butt. I'm going to smile and kind of look at it. Yeah, I mean, Yoshi has clearly bucked societal norms. Um, he wears shoes, but I imagine he wears those to simply enhance the nudity of the rest of his body. Uh, the shoes act very much as... as, as, as as a, a sign that, yeah, I know I'm naked. Why do you think I'm wearing shoes? Um, and yeah, I mean, one, two, three, four, five images in, we've got Yoshi stood at a full height, looking over his shoulder, just smiling because he knows you're all looking at his ass, tail lifted, uh, giving you a full glimpse of the raw goods. Um, a little further down, he's walking, um, a real sort of hater's going to hate strut. Um, and, and again, looking over the shoulder because he wants you he wants to know that you are looking, and he wants you to know that he knows, that you know, uh, that he knows you're looking. Yeah, I think there's an interesting discussion to be had here, though, which is, does having the tail there detract or enhance the butt? That's a very good question. Um, this might be a little controversial, um, but I've never been afraid to float a controversial opinion out there. But I think the tail only serves to help. Um, very much how, you know, um, a, 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 a nice pair of leg... Uh, legs can go into the foot and the arse sort of in this perfectly structured sort of uh, a mutual enhancement of, of the human form. Um, the, the curve of the tail elegantly and smoothly uh, um, um, sloping into uh, his, his ass region uh, is for me just, just one of the most perfect uh, uh, examples of, of backdoor design I've ever seen. Well, it's it's interesting because I can understand why people would dislike Yoshi's butt because you've got the inherent problem that there's no like definition between two separate cheeks. You don't get that with this sort of tail sloping into the buttocks. You've just got essentially one buttock. And, you know, that's a very divisive thing. Some people will love that it's just, hey, why split it up? We can have just one perfect buttock here that's the entire tail buttock region. But I can understand how some people might be missing that, like, where's where's, you know, just that that curve in that, that separates the two. Well, yeah, like I say, it's controversial. Uh, and, and, and ever since Yoshi's design, uh, this debate has raged hotly among the Nintendo fan base. Um, um, you know, do we need, as, as, a, as a race of people, as, as a species, as, as, as humanity itself, do we really need two ass cheeks or not? Uh, can one suffice? And... If you're a dinosaur, uh, uh, is it your place to to sculpt a second cheek uh, just to obey societal norms? Uh, this topic, you know, it's an evolution of the topic we had in the 1980s with Total Recall when uh, people asked, you know, three breasts, is it good or not? Uh, uh, this is simply a, a you know, it, it's gone in the opposite direction numerically, but but it's still the same topic. This is a, an issue as old as, as, as the human race. Indeed, and I think that there is no objective answer to it. I think it just comes down to personal opinion. How many how many of these would you like? That I'm sure we'll find something to cater to you. And if you're one of those people out there who likes a single buttock, we've got Yoshi for you. That's what he's for. That's what he's doing. That's what he do. Oh, goodness, right. So while we're talking about um, non-human characters who are not wearing very many clothes, just wearing a little bit of clothing to emphasise their nudity, let's talk about Donkey Kong's but, uh, Don- uh, Donkey Kong's ass. Um, you, absolutely, let's please. <laughs> oh, um, goodness. My, my, my biggest problem, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, again, a little bit controversial and say that I have a bit of a problem with, with uh, Donkey Kong's ass, which is that he's muscular, but he's very top-heavy in his muscular nature so his sort of his forearms and his upper torso very muscular then you get to like down to his waist and both his like his lower legs as well as his butt are just 
they're muscular and toned, but they're much smaller. They're much less like they seem almost too small in proportion to the rest of him. And I, I understand why that is the case, but I don't know that, but like while that, butt might fit some other character on Donkey Kong, it just feels a bit too small to fill the space. Yeah. I, I certainly see what you're saying. Um, I, it really feels like he's let his lower proportions atrophy as he works his glamour muscles. Um, you know, he's got the big biceps, he's got a kind of Scott Steiner thing going on from the waist up. And you're right, we, you look at, if you see him from the waist up, you think, you know, that's a, a well-toned, muscular ape. Uh, I wonder what his ass looks like. I mean, that's certainly where my thoughts go when I see an ape uh, that's been working out. And uh, I look down and, and, yeah, it's, there's not a lot there. It's very much the opposite uh, issue to to the Mario brothers, uh, who clearly have let most of their bodies go, but have have really worked the arse until it's it's this pinnacle of human engineering. And then we get Donkey Kong, who who clearly you know he he thinks it's all in the arms. And I don't I don't I don't meet many people who are uh, into arms that much. Uh, some exist. Uh, clearly, and and but but Nintendo, I think, with this design, really going for a niche market there. Um, you know that 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 Miyamoto and crew would sit down and say, right, we we've got every we've we've got plenty to appeal to ass lovers, uh, but but what about those who are turned on specifically by biceps, uh, to the exclusion of everything else, with biceps and a red tie. Uh, so yeah, I, I I I may have to agree with you on this. Uh, I yeah. Well, that's the thing. Is like going back to your topic of Yoshi wearing shoes to sort of emphasize uh, emphasize his nudity. I think that what they've got done here is that they've realized very late on, oh goodness, we've got this uh, we've got this gorilla that's top, a very top heavy, and we want to sort of make sure that your eyes are drawn to that and that you're not paying attention to how lacking the the lower half of the character is. And as such, he's got his lovely red tie, which is, hey, look at my red tie. Look at the the neck and the arms and the muscular face and torso that go along with this tie don't look any lower than the tie and that's where you get the problem is at the bottom of the tie everything just kind of falls apart for him yeah and and one problem with the tie is it draws the eyes downwards uh they really blew it here um whereas yoshi's boots uh are a statement of pride and and enhance the overall uh, vision of, of of prehistoric nakedity uh the tie here is is almost an admission of failure as far as I'm concerned. And I hate to be so harsh. I absolutely hate it. It, it is like an arrow through my heart that I have to be so harsh. Uh, but this, this is a letdown. It's, it's a deflation. Uh, uh, Donkey Kang's ass. Donkey Kang. Well, um, moving on from, from Donkey Kong, I'm going to move on to um, one of the more elegant um, characters in sort of recent Mario games, which is Princess Rosalina. Now, I, I don't know what to think because like the problem I had with Princess Peach is that because you've got that very sort of puffy out dress at the waist, it was very difficult to tell what was going on underneath. And again, like I've made the mistake of looking at um, Rosalina in her sort of flowing formal dress as being like, I, I can't imagine there's much room for a good ass in there. But you then start looking at things like Mario Kart as references. It's like, oh, there is some better material here to judge your ass by. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, if you talk about Rosalina, you really are um, having the Peach conversation again, I feel. Um, she is someone who, who uh, doesn't take her ass out lightly. Uh, she saves it for a, a special occasions and sporting events. And um, her clothing choices almost mirror Peach exactly. We have the elegant dress, and then when it comes time to race, she's in the skin-tight leather. And uh, the sporting games, I'm not even sure what game that is. Um, but she has the short, short thing going on. Uh, for that as well, and there's apparently some picture of her on Pinterest in uh, nothing but a, a, a Lycra um, uh, leotard. Uh, I'm not sure what game that's from. Um, in fact, that doesn't look official. That just looks creepy because her head is massive on that. Is, is that the one that's got the the slightly unofficial Mario Kart Wii logo on it? Or am um, I looking at a different one of these? I think we're looking at a different one. Oh goodness! Um, too too many skin tight cat suits of of Rosalina. Just oh. Yeah, let, let's let's keep that to a minimum, uh, artists of the world, because because it's it's confusing scientists like us as we try and research, uh, uh, you know, our, our qualified exactly. people. 
how will we'll... we get how will we get like legitimate answers if you're just going to stick fan art everywhere that's just confusing the issue yeah oh. like I, I think really just to be safe uh, we're going to have to just stick with uh, the Mario Kart uh, representation and yeah I, I look at that good ass uh, 8 on 10 well, my my thoughts is it's very similar to Peach and it's a very understated ass but unfortunately like the images I can see all seem to be just a little bit smaller and to me it's a little too far on the not quite enough to hold on to side of the scale I think that there is just a little too little ass there and you know I, I can understand why it might appeal to some for me, it's not quite enough. So I say, um, you know, room to improve, we would say. I mean, she can only go up from here. Exactly. Just have a couple more extra cakes and I'm sure that uh, everything will work out fine for you. Now, the next one's going to be another difficult one to do. Like, this is a big recurring problem for, for um, discussing the Mario series and arses is because Nintendo seem to have designed a lot of their characters so that their clothing will cover up the arse. And a great example here is the lovely elderly Professor E. Gad, whose tr- his uh, lab coat unfortunately covers his ass and makes it a bit of a mystery. Yeah, I was um, I, I was looking at E. Gad um, because I'm I'm not the most familiar with the Luigi's Mansions game, un- uh, Luigi's Mansion games. Unfortunately, that's something I need to rectify. I might go out and get one of those today. Um, but yeah, I looked up E. Gad, and then and again, I'm I'm going back to my source material here and. I honestly, I don't think there's anything in that ass to write home about. Uh, I, I think he he knows why he's got that lab coat covering it. Just looking at the rest of him, I'm imagining something small, sallow, and pockmarked. Well, this is it. My problem is I was going to say that, like, someone suggested Egad as a person whose butt we should discuss, and my problem is I don't think he has one. I think yeah. that he has hip bones, and that's about it. I don't think that there is anything more than maybe like a paper's thickness of of flesh on those bones yeah i'm imagining a half inflated balloon hanging off a coat hanger (laughs) oh what a beautiful beautiful image i'm sure that someone out there is that's that's just their thing i i can't personally agree so um yeah next up we've got another one of the sort of uh side characters in the mario universe uh thoughts on toad's ass thoughts on toad's ass well uh, again, uh, bear with me while I just bring up my research materials. Um, you know, there are many pictures of toads. There are many toads. Uh, all of them seem to share the same uh, proportions physically. Um, very few are shots, um, which is always surprising to me because when whenever you look up official uh, Nintendo artwork, uh, there are they always have at least one uh, very prominent um, R shot. No matter who the character is, um, and Nintendo just seems to to love it. Um, but you know, with looking at um, say the the a picture from the Mario Wiki, which has several Toads, um, most of which are facing the front, but there's a little purple fella who's who's facing us, and I'm not a fan. No, it's it's there's no definition to it. It is just like the entire body and the ass are just sort of one unit, which. Yeah. I can't get behind that. It's like, where where does the body end and the ass begin? I can't quite work it out. Yeah, I mean, it's like a snake. I mean, it, there, there's no neck. There's no nothing separating anything. Um, as I, I mentioned earlier in the show, how, um, you know, uh, a person's legs and feet and ass are, are kind of a, a synergetic thing. Uh, one, in, one hand washes the other there. Uh, one element enhances the rest. Um you know, if you get the, those three things working in harmony, um, you're just gonna gonna have a more a more spectacular uh, 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 thing to show off. Uh, whereas here, toads don't even have legs; it's just feet. They're missing what I feel to be an essential component uh, in in the arse matrix. But this is it. As I'm trying to like understand the arse and where it fits into this, and the best guess I can come up with is. If you look at one of the toads that's got the sort of open chest uh, jacket on, so you can sort of see the the white division for the lower half, I can only imagine that like that's a pair of trousers, and where that starts, that's where the ass begins. So like yeah. the entire bottom half of their torso is an ass with feet attached to the bottom of the ass, and like it's not that that's a problem. I just can't understand how that works. It's 
difficult yeah. for me to really picture like how you interact with a creature who is half ass and a pair of feet just dangling off the bottom. I mean, I'm I'm trying to visualize a naked toad, as I'm sure m- most of the listeners have uh, at some point in their uh, dire histories. And um, really, all I'm imagining is is more more flesh colored, um, you know, flat like meat essentially, um, just just circular and round, now- with just a, a pinhole just randomly between the legs. Uh, out of which comes, you know, something similar to, to a goldfish's leavings. It's, it's kind of unfortunate that this show is on YouTube because I can't include some of the pictures I've, I've just looked at, but I just did the, the, the Google image search that any of you are welcome to do if you wish, which is Toad Mario Naked. And I'm uh, doing it immediately. <laughs> there, there are some images of naked toads. There is a particular... <laughs> you put it in, there's the one I did. <laughs> Are you looking at the one with the yellow background? The, uh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to censor that enough I can put it on YouTube. <laughs> has that changed? Has that changed your perspective on Toad's ass? <laughs> I need to find a way to put that on YouTube. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. are you feeling better about Toad's ass now? I that that has given me a complete reversal. That's a complete turnaround um, for me. Um, I'm going to do the thing where I'm literally just going to put a black bar over the over the genitals. I think, but um, he's so happy to have his ass out. Yeah, like I've never seen a happier Toad. Um, funnily enough, you put Toad Mario naked in, and um, at least uh, according to my search results, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, about eight pictures in is one I did, uh, hosted on Destructoid, uh, of, 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 of a wrinkly nude Mario letting off in Toad's face. Oh, is that you? That's my one. Uh, not as well drawn as the first image. Well, here's the thing I'm disappointed in you now, Jim. I'm going to put this image up. You drew Naked Toad, and you missed an opportunity to let the universe know what you thought his ass looked like. To be honest, looking at it, I, I, I feel I have erased what I did from memory. <laughs> like. Well, at least we now have more of an idea of what Mario's ass looks like as well, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not nearly as toned as I had imagined. Not at all. This is the most fascinating, and I've seen a lot of fascinating Google image searches, but Toad Mario Naked throws up some incredible pictures. Oh, it really does. I am not entirely sure what I've... Like, if you scroll down a bit, there are some images with multiple Toads who've... Uh, the, uh, the one of that... Sonic is uh, particularly enlightening. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking um, of the one where there's various. Five... Uh, there's uh, one of lady naked... toads drawn. Yeah, there's there's naked Princess Peach with about six toads all over her, and that's quite a image to scroll down to. My goodness, but we're getting off track. We've stopped talking about the ass. Like, let's just in talk talk empirically about the ass in that yellow picture. Yes. It, yes. You know, it's my main problem with Toad's ass is that it's too childlike. And that goes very much with the entire image of Toad, is that, like, regardless of what age Toad happens to be, I'm not going to be able to look at that arse and not see a childish arse. Yeah, it, um, again, if you continue looking down the, uh, um, the Google image page, it gets dodgier and dodgier. Uh, Oh, goodness, yes, it does. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I would not recommend clicking on many of those images unless you want to appear on a list somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to avoid clicking many of them, but... That I did not realise how much the um, the childish aspect of Toad would be a problem when uh, investigating his ass. Well, now we know. I mean, that's part of what this this show um, is all about. I think. Exactly. It's, we it's... we search Toad's naked ass, so you don't have to. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I I can't endorse this this ass, unfortunately. Um, neither neither can I, yeah. and that's a real shame. I I wanted to I wanted to find something I could endorse here, but no, this is just. Too much. Oh, um, goodness. I'd like to suggest, because I didn't see it on the, the discussion list, um, I'd like to talk about Bowser. Bowser's next on the discussion list. He should be just below oh, Toad on sorry, our I list. didn't... Oh, there he is. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> That's I, um, all right. Go ahead. I'm more, than happy to, I'm more than happy to talk about Bowser. 
I, yeah, and Bowser is Bowser is one of the best video game characters in the world. Um, so I, I do enjoy talking about him, and the fact that you know we can chat about his ass is 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 all the better. Um, like Luigi, actually, in Super Smash Brothers, Bowser uses his ass to great effect. Um, his his butt slam is so powerful that that he barely has to touch someone to send them flying. Um, it is, for my money, one of the most powerful, influential asses in gaming today. I could not agree more as it happens. It's very sort of, you look at reference images of, of Bowser and it's, again, you've got the same discussion we had with Yoshi, where you've got, uh, with Yoshi, where you have to be okay with the the single, the single, the single ass that's not two ass cheeks, it's just one ass cheek. But in terms of raw, just power of that ass, there is no one that I can think of right now that could hold a candle to, to Bowser. He's just... You, if you were underneath that ass as it was coming down, you would not survive. No, not at all. And I it don't... is a dominant ass. Oh, goodness, yes. Like, again, there's... I don't think there's much more we can say about his other than just, that is one rock-hard ass. Don't mess with it. Absolutely. Like, I would not want to interact with that ass. I don't think I would come out alive. <laughs> <laughs> you amused? Yes, yes. Um, I'm this just is a serious at... discussion, Jim. I apologize. I apologize. I, 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 I just had some. I, I looked at Bowser with, you know, as, as he's represented these days with the spiked uh, black leather collar uh, and and all on his neck and wrists, and then imagining coming in to dominate with his ass, and it, it took my my mind to uh, several pleasant uh, and and less pleasant places. Oh goodness! I can I can only begin to imagine where it went, and that you know that is, that is that that ass is the stuff of legends. Oh. I mean, it comes to something when you look at Dry Bowser and see that even as a Skellington, <laughs> he still manages to have a, 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 at least a, a C plus plus ass. Which, when there's no skin or muscle or fat, how do you how do you still have that good an ass, Bowser? I don't know. I mean, he, he, he defies physical logic, uh, and, and God bless him for it. Oh, yes. Right, well, we've got, we've got a couple left. I'm sorry that this has gone on quite so long. I, I hope that I haven't taken up too much of your day discussing the beautiful asses of Mario. Um, I want to talk about Wario's ass. Um, counterpart to Mario, I, I think that there is one key difference here that makes Wario's ass a much easier ass to dissect, and that is the fact that Whereas Mario's tight sort of um, denim was uh, a barrier to us seeing the ass, um, because of the size of Wario's ass and the size of his clothing and the way those work together, you can see his ass bulging out of those jeans so much that, like, I think you get a better idea of of his ass as it exists by looking at it in this pair of tight jeans shorts than you do by looking at the actual ass. Like I. I like the mystique of seeing it just through those tightly pressed through those jeans shorts. Yes. I mean, it's the same principle you have with, um, you know, uh, models uh, on the internet who provide images for, for one's um, enjoyment, but who don't actually take their clothes off. Um, that people enjoy that. They like that. Wario knows you like that and he works it. Uh, he, he knows you're looking at his ass. Um, and he, his is an ass that has been fully weaponized. I mean, we want to talk about uh, uh, Luigi and Bowser and their application of ass in the military field. Uh, Wario, uh, you know, he wages biological warfare with his. Well, this is it, as I'm just bringing up this beautiful image of Wario making absolutely perfect use of his ass and being like, yeah, I, I'm not just going to use the physical properties of my ass. I'm going to almost have a body that is centered around the existence of my ass and allow my ass to be like the focal point of how I live my life. Yes, I mean, like you, the the very light of the universe shines from his ass. Yeah, you you <laughs> you play him in Super Smash Brothers. Uh, one of his taunts is he turns around, he wiggles it for the camera. Um, you know, he turns around and expulses. Uh, uh, toxic fumes from it uh, to deal damage. Uh, his ass is 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 it's the weapon from the fifth element. It does everything and it's deadly. Well, this is like I can't stop looking at this one image of of Warrior's ass and this light shining out of his anus and 
I just have like this this uncontrollable urge to think of it as like when you hear about people who've passed away and they're walking towards the light. I would like to think that's where they're walking. They're they're heading to the the beautiful glory that is Wario's ass. It it, it is the the subject of many theses. Um, some people do consider Wario to be the rectal messiah, uh, and I I wish I could agree. Um, but the, my problem with this, I mean, I'm not saying that physically it isn't uh, 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 an exemplary uh, um, rump, but I look at Wario and I see a man that eats a lot of tandoori chicken. That's what I'm thinking. I really, I think his ass is too spicy to enjoy. Oh, I, I can't agree with you. I, for me, that is just like the perfect amount of danger in an ass. Like, I, I like to take risks with my asses. I don't like to take as much risk as Bowser's, but but Wario's is like, Wario's ass is the amount of risk I'm willing to take. I can respect that. Um, I, I do not agree, uh, but I do respect that. Uh, for me, a bit too spicy. Uh, I think I would rather take the, the, the raw physical uh, gamble with Bowser uh, than, than um, get anywhere near something that's uh, had, had that much... Uh, 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 spicy naan bread um shoved down it all right well we've got we've got one more ass left to discuss and then i I can let you get back on with your arsey day so last up on the list is waluigi what do we think of waluigi's ass well waluigi uh is um for my money um the sexiest character in the uh the mario universe uh, he actually won a, a top ten list, um, coming in at first place, third place, uh, fifth place, and seventh place uh, in my top ten list of the sexiest Mario characters of all time. Um, Waluigi is... He does not have the best arts when we look at it pound for pound, isolated, uh, as its own contextless thing. It's the attitude that ass has that makes it sexy. I couldn't agree with you more. Like th- this is the entire subject of like our first episode of this podcast we did was about Mass Effect, and very early on in that discussion we had this brought up, which was: Are we just talking about the ass, or are we talking about the person connected to the ass and the personality and the sheer charisma that can be attached to an ass? And I think that is what sums up Waluigi as such a perfect specimen of of but having is that it's not the arse itself. Like the arse itself is it's functional. It does what it's supposed to. It is good enough, but it's attached to the most suave, amazing, charismatic man that like, you can't separate your feelings for the man from your feelings from for the arse. Yeah. I mean, while Luigi knows that he is not even a second stringer, in the Mario universe. He's never been in one of the main games. He was thrown into the sporting things. And he's not even just a knockoff. He's a knockoff of a knockoff. You know, he is a counterpart to Wario as much as he is Luigi. Uh, But he's taken that. Like, he's had one of the worst starts in life that a a Mario universe character can have. And he just rolled with it. I don't even think he washes. I look at him, I don't think that's a man that, that washes. And I don't care. I would get up in that stank. I couldn't agree more. Like, that is an ask that I'm willing to just, like, throw caution to the wind and just be like, right, do what you're going to do because you've worked for it, Waluigi. Yeah. You have work to get where you are. It's like, this is going to be, this is going to be filthy, nasty, unpleasant. And you know what? That's just going to be part of the appeal. <laughs> oh, goodness. Right. Well, before we go, do you have any other asses, either in Mario or just generally any other asses you would like to bring up for discussion? Uh, I do think at one point, um, you know, maybe I'll come back to do it myself, but if you find someone else to do it, that would be just as fine. Uh, But at some point, y'all are going to have to spend a long time talking about Solid Snake. Yes, uh, Solid Snake. I think we're going to have, like, there's going to be a an episode entirely dedicated to Solid Snake, but I'm happy to discuss him again here with you, so... Tell, tell me your thoughts on Solid Snake's ass. Go on. It's quite good. It's more than quite good. It's 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 made of like it's rock solid. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I uh, liken it to a wine. I mean, it, you look at him in Metal Gear Solid Four, Buns of the Patriots, and 
I honestly think it's only gotten better as he's gotten older. My my only thing I want to say about that is you know how people say um, about people with abs, it's like oh you could you could grate cheese on those abs. I think you could grate cheese on that butt. Like that is how rock solid that but that set of buttocks is. You honestly, could... I wouldn't want to grate cheese any other way. I I I have to say I think you're right there. Um, so yeah, I think that just about covers covers all of our butt discussion for for this week. Thank you very much for joining me, Jim. Uh, where it's can, absolute pleasure. Where can people find you on the internet? Um, you can find me at uh, my Jim Sterling YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Jim Sterling, or one word. Or you can check out my game reviews and and hopefully some more stuff um, when I think of things to do um, at uh, thegymquisition.com. Uh, I emphasize putting the the in. Don't go to gymquisition.com because it's full of hentai. Um, but thegymquisition.com will uh, take you to all of my stuff. Fantastic. So thank you very much for listening again, everyone. Um, I'm on Twitter at Laura K. Buzz. You can tell me what butts you want to hear spoken about and who you want to hear talking about them. I'm on Patreon as well, so if you want to help the butt podcast continue to exist, go to patreon.com forward slash Laura K. Buzz and, you know throw some money in so I can afford to pay my rent by talking about butts, because really, isn't that the dream? Isn't that the dream?